recording. So, so let's just talk about summarise what we've just been talking about. So we're we've now arrived at a location which would be suitable for taking a pupil that needs help with meeting situations, meeting traffic, mm -hmm. and clearance. And we just had a chat about sort of all the good content stuff we could include in that. So when we talked about meeting, we're talking about like who's got priority um, in situations, how we deal with other cars that might flash us or wave us on, um, how, do, how, how do we manage that. Um, we talked about clearance, leaving, going past parked vehicles, mm -hmm. leaving the door width, going past cyclists, how much for cyclists? Two meters, yeah. Sorry, well, I was just watching him. Yeah, yeah good. So, um, <laughs> when you stay frosty, so yeah, so yes, cyclists, yeah, double it, car whip, two meters. We talked about we also wanted to include following distance, didn't we? Mm -hmm, so, we talked yeah. about following distances and how we could judge it in the wet mm -hmm. and dry ice. We covered tires and tarmac. You know, the stuff in distance behind park stationary mm -hmm. vehicles yeah. and tyres on top. Mm -hmm. What else did we talk about? The we talked about smart but that was kind of like just off yeah, subject, really. The diagonal rule, but I think you called it something. Oh, three in a bed. Oh, yeah, three in a bed. bed. It's that, that, it's that old bully, old from the 80s, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, getting out for a three in a bed or something like that. <laughs> <That's what> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing in this game for three in a bed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, now you're showing your age, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. So yeah. it's positioning, strategic, mm. safe, defensive driving, staggering out. Now we can't do all of that in this little route because this route is really geared up um, for meeting. Mm -hmm. So we've just had a little drive around. We we just paint the scene. We've got we're in a housing estate with quite narrow roads it's on a bus route there's lots of parked cars some on the footpaths some on the grass some are in the roads lots of junctions i've already mentioned buses and um and like here you know we've got a bend a left bend with cars all the way round it so i'm gonna have to go round a left bend on the wrong side of the road with a junction on it and what if i meet the bus that's so this, work, this yeah. is not a nursery route. This is, no. I've now graduated off nursery route. So now this is a bit more of a challenge because I'm like, oh, all these park cars, how do I do it? And um, and so this lesson's focus at that, that person that needs to, to understand some meeting situations, having priority. And then, then later we can go out onto roads where following distance and tyres and tarmac and all that stuff can yeah. come as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it might come up here, I stop behind a car, but mm -hmm. less likely to. So that's kind of, um, that sort of the, the sets the scene, the scope of the lesson. Mm -hmm. So you've kind of got your pupil who can drive, that sound part trained, so I can drive mm -hmm. the car. Uh, you ain't got to tell me how to change gears or steer or anything like that, mm -hmm. I'm good at that. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be too sure about a meeting situation, that's for sure. So I, I'm probably yeah. going to force people, without a help, this people will go when they shouldn't, causing people to stop, giving me funny looks, going like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, making me reverse back. Right. If I meet a bus, they ain't going to reverse back, so yeah. I'm going to have to. So we don't really want to be reversing, do we? If, we, if yeah. we're reversing today, we know things haven't gone quite it's to plan. Going a bit wrong. So we're trying to prevent that. The instructor's job is to prevent yeah. that from happening and going and having a plan. So we'll just keep it simple, we'll go around the block and we'll end up back here and sort of we can sort of have a little briefing and a little drive yeah. while you help me. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'll have a little drink, drink of water. And we are just parked across a driveway it's not a drop curb. All, all what we've got here is got lots of high curbs, but every house has turned their front garden into um, a driveway. So it's very difficult to find somewhere safely and convenient. Mm -hmm. yeah. So whilst we are pulled up here, 
just as you have been, be aware well, if, they come, it, yeah. if they come home, mind you, they've, what, have they got um, a bed and drawers and they've got a sofa? <laughs> On, yeah. I don't. I don't think they're going to go in that spot. That's sort of more of their dump, isn't it? <laughs> They've got an old bike, sofa, set, really nice. cabinets. So it's quite a nice area. So make sure yeah, your doors are shut. I said that before. I shouldn't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> don't, don't don't say that any path three. Really. Cut that bit out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we're not non discriminatory. Definitely not. Totally Sorry. professional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely cutting that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make a note to yourself, aren't you? Okay, so let's say I've done my cockpit drill. Yeah. So if I did have to move, yeah. Ready, that's a good thing. If you're going to do a briefing, you know, if this was out, you know. If I've just started, I haven't driven yet, and we need to move, then obviously I'm going to have to do that quite quickly and not yeah. have to do all my cockpit or so on. So, yeah, so I'm all set. So, do you want to have a go? Give yes. us a little briefing. That'd be good. Then a little go around the block. Definitely. With the directions, I can. I'm going to put that out I can away. give you the directions just to get us back around here. So, we'll just go around the left block. But, like I said, there's going to be lots of. Lots of this stuff going on in front of us. Yeah. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay, Howard. How are you this morning? Are you are you well? Right. Yeah, Fantastic. I'm good. Thank you. Good stuff. We're on to lesson three and the first half of the lesson we're going to be looking at, at at meeting situations. We're currently on the Heart Seas estate and as you saw we spoke as we as we were driving in, there's quite a lot of vehicles parked all over the place yeah. some of them are on both sides of the road and there wouldn't be enough space for you and another vehicle to safe pass uh, to park and say yeah pass safely i see yeah we're on a bus route as well right. so okay yeah what the first half of this lesson is about is knowing how to manage situations where there's not enough gap for both lanes of traffic to safely pass. All right, Who's yeah. got priority? When and why have they got priority? Yeah. And what you need to do to manage that situation safely. Oh yeah. Okay. Rather than me just speaking, uh, yeah, just um, let's have a look at this picture here. This is the situation that potentially we could be, we could face. Here, in yeah. fact, on this estate, as we experienced when we drove in, there are vehicles just all over the place, aren't there? Yeah, some yeah, of them are at right funny time. angles, and some on the footpaths and stuff. Some of the footpath. Now we're on a bus route, so potentially the situation which we've already spoken about is it, it's fine if there's nothing coming down here. Yeah. For you just to signal out and go down. Obviously, you do it a little bit slower. Oh, so I could go out past those parked cars. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But that puts you over here, yeah, not leaving right. enough space. Oh yeah. Probably even for a car, but a big bus coming down there. Oh yeah. Not There's not enough space. Mm. Yeah. Now it could be if we imagine that this is you here. Let's just take these. So if we imagine this is you here, yeah. let's say that there's another car parked here. Yeah. You've seen the bus coming down here. Okay. So you may have time just to pull around there and just to I'll get in that little hole. Move in move into there to let the bus come through. Okay. But if you don't if if the bus is a little bit closer and you're quite sure you haven't got time, then you're best just to wait there and in terms of in fact let me ask you in this situation yeah where there's only vehicles on your side of the road who do you think's got priority um the cars coming towards or the bus coming towards me. this person absolutely if there's vehicles, so I guess perhaps it's a silly question to ask, but I'm going to ask it anyway. If there's only vehicles all the way down here. On both sides? 
just on that oh, side I of the see. road. Um, it's go it's fair and so. I'd be mine. Yeah. That's it. It's your priority. What yeah. if in this situation there are vehicles on both sides of the road who's got priority? Hmm. Um Whoever gets there first? Pretty much, you're right, no one's got priority. Oh, okay. It comes down to courtesy and consideration of the driver, plus the fact that it's going to be a lot harder, if it was a bus, a lot harder for a bus just to pop into one of these little parking oh, spaces. Yeah. yeah, I see. So it would be it would be courteous of you, it would be considerate of you and the fact that you've seen it, you're planning ahead just to let the bus come through to give it priority but the key thing I want you to remember about priority is that it's always given not taken. Do you understand what I mean by that? You give priority, you take you, it in, oh, it sense. You, yeah. you mustn't. You mustn't assume, so even this was a car so that's a car yeah. coming down here. If they were going really slow, you mustn't assume that they're going to yield, if you like, if they, that, they're, that they're going to slow up and let you through. And so you mustn't just assume and barge your way through because worst case scenario, if that person was having a bad day or if they're a bit rude and nasty, they might force you to all of a sudden have to be reversing back into this space so they can drive through. Oh. And that's a that's a pain, isn't it? That's not a situation you want to be in. I'll also let them out then. Them so, if in this situation with vehicles on both sides, yeah. if a vehicle, let's just say a car for the moment, because obviously we understand it's very different with a bus. We know it's harder for them to manoeuvre. Yeah. If a car's already committed to coming down, and you can see from a reasonable distance that there's no pulling in spaces, yeah. you're going to give way to him. Give, you're going to give priority to him and let him come through. Okay, yeah. So you can give priority, but you can't take it. That's it, you mustn't assume, you mustn't think well it's my right of way I'm going you mustn't assume that okay because if the other person did the same thing all of a sudden well, what's the worst what's the worst thing that's going to happen with not enough room to pass here we'll have to back up there's going to be a bash isn't there oh yeah it's going to be a crash which isn't very nice so okay. which isn't yeah it's a horrible experience right. that you know, I never want you to be in so yeah okay out of roll a second, yeah. what would you add to that or what would you do differently? I, if if so I just clear all the, clear all the obstructions. So you've know, covered the priority, you've used some good little things there, like how you've dealt with priority like that. Um, what would I do differently? What I would do, I would use our system that we've been using for all the other lessons of course. to add, add like a checklist, like a, a five point checklist of things to do in any hazard, so that you can pretty much use that system for any lesson. If you're going down a slip road, as we did, you remember when we did slip roads? Yes. We got mirror, signal, Yeah. talk about the signal, when, position, yeah. what lane, speed, what are we doing about that? Oh yeah, we had a big yeah. chat about that. So you could use the same here. Yeah, absolutely. And use the MS PSL. Um, and I mean, I could demonstrate a quick MS PSL really good. thing yeah. on, like, like we could yeah. do roll reversal briefly. That'd be Wouldn't good, take yeah. very long. That'd be excellent. Do you right. want this arrayed still? You're all no, right. You leave it on there. The pen's live. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to have a seat back. So, uh, so you've got an illustration with parked cars on my side, and you, and you it's good how you were using changing the situation, mm, yeah, right. you know, for different examples, because there's hundreds of examples. Yeah, there? of course. Hundreds. Yeah. Personally, I was just going to go with a blank sheet. Yeah, okay. Only because I want to write more things on it. Yeah. 
and there's already pre-text on it. Yeah. And because I, it's, it's kind of like the words to your favorite song, I kind of know it. So I'm not going to read the music, like a no. musician would read the music, but they'd be like, yeah. I just know what I'm going to say yeah. and be in the moment. So I, I basically want this space to, yeah. to have a bit more places to draw on it. Yeah. Right. So I'm just going to start with a blank template. So actually, let me give you that back and just get it. Would just, it help if you had the blank thing on here? There's a blank thing there. Could do. Oh, it's just squeezy. I'll save you rubbing it off. I'll just okay, use yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Just go, I've got that. I think I've got issues with sharing. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> right. I don't want yours. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm, so all I've got is a, a whiteboard. Yeah. There you go. And a, and a pen. So I would. It's not very really clean, because yours was cleaner. <laughs> I haven't meant to know, go home and clean it. So I would be visual, I'd like because we're dealing with meeting, I'm going to like draw their eyes, I'm going to write meeting on it. Right. And just sort of. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to create, I nearly said like Ralph Harris, don't say. No. <laughs> Wrong Ralph choice Ralph of person. <laughs> Please don't tell me what it is yet. <laughs> Cut that out as well. <laughs> God. Oh dear, this is getting away, isn't it? Right, so, so yeah, so right, so you're playing the role of the people. You can be as unknowledgeable as you'd like, yeah? Okay. Don't, don't, you're not being no. tested. No, no, no. If you sure. say I don't know, I'm not going to think, what? <laughs> you start, you start on the 18th of March. Yeah. So, yeah. so, um, so right, here we go. So, okay, right, Russell, what we're going to do today, I'd obviously be sat there. Yeah. I wouldn't be sat there <laughs> doing this briefing, but just because. So, yeah, so what we're going to do today, we're going to look at um, meeting situations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, let's, I'm just going to write that down. So, this is this is our lesson theme for today. So we're looking at meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I said that to you, what what does that what does that mean to you? Because it's just like a topic, because something it's an area we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. What what does meeting mean to you? If you met another vehicle, perhaps, and you had to slow down a bit or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah. basically, meeting is a situation where there's not enough room in the road for two cars to pass. Yeah. So we might have meeting situations on a rural road, on a single track mm -hmm. road, yeah. where there's little passing places. Don't know mm -hmm. if you've ever been on holiday somewhere where they've got narrow roads. Yeah, in Cornwall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. So that, that would be a meeting nightmare, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Going down little country roads, yeah. mm -hmm. meet a caravan, oh, all right, where, where, <laughs> where do we do go? Because like, they've got <laughs> high banks. So, so there's meeting places like that. It could just be a traffic calmed road where you've got little pinch points, yeah. mm -hmm. where they fetch the road in either on one side yeah. or the other, or mm -hmm. both sides. Yeah. So they're, they're making you slow down because there's not enough room. Mm. Or in a road like today, what what sort of pinch points are being created in the road today, looking at that? The cars parked all over the place. Yeah. So they're random, aren't they? Yeah. So we've, you can't get any warning signs for that. No. Where are, where are the passing places? Where are the next park yeah. cars? So you could drive down here mm. tomorrow in 15 minutes, it's going to be a different situation. And yeah. In fact, today, as we drive around, as different people park or move, that it's, a, it's going to be a change in landscape yeah. it's always so it's dynamic mm. we're always gonna have to be dealing so it's a bit like a game of chess you're gonna yeah. have to be thinking oh hang on a minute what, what do i do here so it's quite can be quite tricky yeah and that's why i wanted to spend a bit of time so we're in an area where lots of parked cars on both sides and we will have meeting situations i.e someone is gonna have to mm -hmm. give way give yeah. priority mm, sure so it's a lot about priority so I'm going to draw a little road. That's my little visual aid. So that's the roads. I'll put a little white line down the middle there, okay, look, so you know where the halfway point is. And we got, let's say that's a park car there. And this is us driving in that direction. Mm -hmm. So we have a meeting situation. Park cars could be coming, traveling towards us. Mm -hmm. So in that very simple scenario, just seeing that's us. 
car coming towards us, parked car there, this one. So in that simple scenario, who would have priority? The oncoming vehicle, yeah. Yeah, think, what, yeah. why is that? Because the the obstruction of the car's on our side of the road. That's it, that's our problem, isn't it? It's not his yeah. problem, his no. road's nice and clear. Yeah. So we're looking at the situation here, we've got a row of parked cars on our side. Yeah. So oncoming vehicles were a priority. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, and vice versa. So if they're parked on the other sides, put the parked car there and rub that one out. Now who's got priority? Us. Yeah. Right. And that, that's literally what we're doing. Mm -hmm. It'd be great if it was just one parked car though, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it's going to get a bit, a bit, <laughs> going to get a bit more mm -hmm. tricky than that. So that's the very basics in priority. So when we're dealing with this, we can use our system that we've been using for your roundabouts and your junctions and everything else. So what safety routine, hazard routine, have we been using on our, our previous lessons? Is it MSPSL? Yeah. Mm. Very good. So we can use that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's just use that. So, um, so let's write the system down. So this will serve like a checklist of things to do to make sure we arrive at that hazard safely. Now, normally we start here at mirrors, don't we? But what we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to be looking as far up the road as we can see. Yeah. Because if the further up the road we can see, the sooner we see the hazards. And the sooner we see the hazards, see, see the hazards, does that give us more or less time to deal with it? More time. Definitely. And yeah. would you like more time or less time? You'd like always more time. Yeah. More time. Yeah, more. So as much because time as possible. We don't want to arrive at the hazard and call someone to stop or slow down mm. or swerve. Mm. The three S's. We don't want to slow down, swerve or swear us. Yeah. And so um, so we don't want to cause that. We definitely don't want to have to reverse back, mm. do we? We don't want to be no. reversing today. We know we've kind of messed up. So looking well ahead and planning is key. Mm -hmm. Eyes on full beam, looking well up the road for our next meeting situation. Okay, mm -hmm. so we've now we see there is a parked car, so we're going to start our routine. So, what mirrors in preparation for this hazard would we check? We'd check the centre right, very good, and why the right first and foremost because. We'd be moving, we'd be slowing off and potentially moving off and moving over to the other side of the lane. Is that? Yeah. yeah. Have we talked about Bob and Tom? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Yeah. In your left mirror, boy on a bike, Bob. And in your right mirror, Tom. Sweat on a motorbike. So if we're looking out for Bob and Tom, because Bob or Tom could come down this side, can't yeah. they? More likely Tom, yeah. going to be quicker. So if you if he sees a learner car in front of him and a row of parked cars, they might be like already out going past. So it's essential we check the yeah. mirrors you said. So it's just understanding why we're doing it. Yeah, and right. So that's good. So we can look for Bob and Tom if I start saying mm -hmm. that. So we've done our mirrors. Do we need to signal to go around a parked car? I'm sure you told me on the last lesson that we didn't, although was there some exception if it was giving information to other road users potentially? Well, let's look at the situation we've got in front of the car here. This car has just gone round us. They're going round. Are they, are they signalling? No. If they did signalling, if they were signalling, where could they be telling people they're going to go? Down the junction, which is a junction on the line. Yeah, there. of course. Yeah. So they're, what if I we can work, do is we can skip the signal. We might consider it if we get wedged in later on. Yeah. If we're... Mm. What we want to do is if we can check our mirrors and with our position maintain a steady course like i draw it on here steady course rounds parked cars yeah. then our position is the signal like this car coming yeah. up here like, he's already maintaining a steady course no need to signal because he's not really changing his direction yeah and it could be confusing if he did sure so like, nice little visual aid there yeah. <laughs> dynamic moving visual aids lovely good and um so Position, nice to know, so mirror position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't need to signal. We might consider it later. Speed, are we gonna, if we see a car coming towards us, mm -hmm. 
and we've got this parked car, what are we going to do? We're going to speed up to get around a parked car and beam to it, or we're going to hang back? What do you think we should do? Hang back, he's off the, he's off the gas a bit. Yeah. Really. We don't and want to I be think, speeding yeah. up into danger, do we? Definitely not. So no. we want to use our speed. Often when we see the hazard, the first thing we're doing once we see it, we're mirrors and we're lifting off that gas. Mm -hmm. And the car will just compress, engine brake will come in, and then we've got more time. Yeah. So we don't want to be speeding up past yeah. park cars and things. So um, so now we've got our speed and now we're having a final look. So what we're we going to, before we go round, now we're here, what are we going to do now? You'll be checking it's clear, making sure that there's no extra hazards. Yeah. So another check of the mirrors? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a little while since we checked yeah. them last. So a final look, another mirror check if it's safe. Yeah. Go round. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of if that's the that is the system. So we're just gonna yeah. do that. Just something I forgot to mention, going back to signals. Mm -hmm. What if you've got a parked car on your side, you're travelling up towards it, and the oncoming car that has priority flashes his lights. What does that mean? He's giving you a signal. What does that mean, do you think? You did tell me, I think, that you, you just have to make sure that you've interpreted that correctly. What does the highway code tell us it, tell us as it means? I've read about this recently. It's the the driver making us aware of his presence. Is that That's right? So. Yeah. It's yeah. just a warning of their presence. Yeah. Now, in the real world, what do you think drivers, experienced drivers, might use that to do? I think I would think that he was telling me to carry on, to come forward, yeah, to so he proceed. Might, he might be saying, well, you come, beckoning yeah. you on. Mm. Um, so if he beckons you on, does it mean it's safe? No, you'd still need to proceed carefully, wouldn't you? Definitely. So, And who's responsible for safety today? The other driver or you? You in your car. And him in his car, yeah. Yeah, you're mm. responsible for yourself. Yeah. It's like any health and safety in at work. If you see a spillage on the floor, you've got a duty of care yeah. to mm. report that and mm. deal with it straight away, haven't you? Yeah. Rather than leave it, oh, it's not my job, leave it to someone else. Yeah. You've got a duty just to stick right. So you're responsible for yourself and you think, right, oh, do you know what? I'm going to deal with that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, just so you... We don't want to misinterpret. No. But if he is letting you go and he's hanging back and his position and speed tells us that he's doing that, yeah. then we'll proceed. Yeah. So yeah. we might get that today, especially with big vehicles. And also, the other thing, before we go around that park car, what kind of clearance do you think we want to leave it? Is it about a, about a metre, is it? <laughs> it is. And do you know why? Why would we, would we want to leave a metre? If there were two parked cars, he could. What could happen in between them? There could be a pedestrian walkout, I suppose. Maybe this car, this driver might open his door, perhaps without looking. Yes, yeah, so the doors might open. Bad, it? He yeah. might walk out. So on approach, we can look. When we're looking well ahead, we can look. Mm. Look, we're going to look out. O U T. So when we're dealing with parked cars, we're going to look over it, under it and throw it. So we look out. If I start saying look out, I'm yeah. not saying look out, something's going to hit you. <laughs> I'm just saying look out, look over, under, through, and you can do that on that vehicle, can't you? You can okay. see through yeah. the vehicle, you yeah. can see under it, so you would see little feet. Yeah. And it, I don't think we'd see a kid behind that one because it's quite a tall car yeah. on it. You might see an adult, so we're trying to look and yeah. anticipate what might, what might change mm -hmm. here. The car door might open, kid might yeah. run out, mm -hmm car might move off so if we leave clearance if that happens we've we've already allowed a bit of room to deal yeah. with it mm -hmm. it's a minimum of door width you can leave more if you want right so what we should talk about just because i put you in a bit of an awkward situation here the first meeting situation you're going to have is park cars a row of park cars how many park cars are in front there's definitely three isn't there it's hard to tell, isn't it? I think it is hard it's to really tell. It's really hard to tell. There might are be there two, any, actually. Are there gaps in them car cars to put into? It's hard to tell if there's one in between. The, I think it's an X trail and a... So yeah, would we, if we is. don't know that there's a safe gap, would we commit 
going past if we couldn't see our exit clear? No, and potentially, would you do the same thing that we did at the junction? You'd almost creep and peep to, rather than just zoom and go for it. So, well, what we need to look at, we need to look at our exit. There's a string of parked cars. Mm. We don't know how many there are. Mm. We don't know if there's any gaps. Mm. We're really clever. We could see if there's gaps because the sun's shining and we can see shadows down the road with gaps. Yeah. And they don't look like there's a good enough gap mm. for it to get a car in there. Mm. So that is one hazard. Treat that like a big, long vehicle. Block That's hazards. one vehicle mm. with no gaps, okay? So our exit, as we approach this, we're going to look to the left through the footpath, and that's our exit. We need to be able to get to that point. So if we see a vehicle come around that corner, we will wait. Yeah. Mm. Like that bus. Like that big bus. Be the bus. <laughs> and once we commit, once we're committed, we're in the little tunnel, we're in the narrowing of the road. Yeah. Once you're in the tunnel, oncoming vehicles should let us out on the other side. Yeah. If they don't, we will stop. Yeah. So we want to be a speed we could stop within the distance seen to be clear. The distance seen to be clear is the end of that, where the road bends yeah. to the limit point. So we've got to be able to stop within that distance. So if we can stop, they stop, and they should stop and let us out. But if they don't, at least we've stopped. Yeah. Okay, then mm -hmm. we'll cross that bridge, okay? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what we're going to be doing. So. There's there's more to this subject, but as we get into it, because we could talk about weaving in and out park cars. We so yeah. I said I might come back to signalling if we need to. There is more, but I just want to just keep it simple for now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you want the long version, just the things I've missed out there, I could get into road signs. So I just do that for you yeah. to you know, because this will mm -hmm. all be good content out roll all be good yeah. content yeah. Mm -hmm. for you with your learners like out you've got i don't think you, you, you look like little eyes that's a new one that's a new one yeah like, what did you do yeah. i think it's yeah, really yeah. done <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> so um <laughs> so there's that oh yeah and signs so what i might say you know because i started up with rural roads different meeting mm -hmm. situations yeah. i could say right so let's do a little bit of revision i've drawn a triangle so mm -hmm. what kind of sign is that? Warning sign, I think. Warning. Yeah, right. Good. Yeah. And if I'm just going to draw it, if we saw this sign, so you can see that, I've drawn that. What does that tell us? We're coming up to that sign. What does this tell us? Does it mean that the road narrows? It does. On yeah. what side? On the right. It's not us being beep, is it? No. No. They're just saying goodbye. Right. <laughs> so, um, so nar narrows on the right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who would have priority? Us. Yeah. yeah. It's like that is like a little park car on it. The road has narrowed yeah. mm -hmm. on the other side. So the other the other version of that sign. Mm. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> if it narrowed yeah. on our side, who would have priority? The other lane. Yeah. And what about if does that? What does that sign mean? It, it means that the road narrows and no one's got priority. That's it. Yeah. So that we might get that a, a narrow bridge or in a situation like that, yeah. park cars on both sides, mm -hmm. no one's got priority. Mm. Okay. So um, so if we see those signs, that'll help us understand priority, won't it? Yeah. Definitely. You won't get that on a housing state with parked cars because they'd have to put different signs up every day, wouldn't they? Yeah. Where the parked cars are. <laughs> so uh, these would be like fixed hazards like yeah. pinch points or a bridge yeah. and narrowing right. a road like that. And there are other signs that deal with priority as well. Do you know what they are? If we're going into signs, I'm going to draw it. So this is where if I was doing, I'd have pictures. Yeah. Right, yeah. Ironically, in the back, because I, I forgot, I've got a pitch with me in situations with little photos of these pictures I'm drawing to save a bit of time. Oh, right, yeah, that's good. So, and now I've said I better get it, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, no. no I should do. Just bear with me. Back no in worries. a minute. <laughs> Just as I thought about it. See? All right. This, this, what I'm going to show you is what I had prepared when I was preparing for my part three. Right, right. So like the, the pack I got had pictures of junctions out, but I just wanted to 
accessorize it, tailor it. Because I was thinking, oh, I want, I, I found myself in this situation trying to draw a picture. I'm thinking, do you know what? If I just had it to hand, yeah. I'd mm. be like, be nice and quick and easy. Yeah. Back mm. in a minute. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to have to scrap that idea. That's okay. Because... Oh, no, is it at home, is it? <laughs> because, um, I think it's... Oh, I'll have to take it. I'm definitely getting that out of the video. <laughs> it's, I've got it, but I have to take my boot out, so I've put it under to oh, tie it up. Yeah. And I'll have to lug all my stuff yeah. out and get it. No. That's a pain. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, that's... Where, where was I? So, um, yeah, so pick, so signs, let me just cover where I was. So if you saw, we're talking about signs dealing with Prairie. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you saw a rectangle sign, what does that mean? Information. Good. Yeah. This sign is blue. Right. And you've got a big white arrow like that. And a little red arrow coming down. What would that sign tell you? I have looked at this recently in the highway code. I think it means that we've got priority. We've got priority. Yeah, right, yeah. So you might get that in a traffic calming situation yeah. to mm -hmm. let people know who's got priority. Yeah. So what is the opposite of that sign? The big arrows coming down and the little arrows going up. And what shape is the sign? I don't know. It's round. Right. So what does that mean? It's an order. It's an order. Yeah. It's got a red border. So what kind of order is that? Mandatory. Yeah, a negative yeah. order. Blue right, signs, yeah. positive orders. Right. Positive. Negative. Right. So negative order. And just as you said, the signs, the road, the, it's opposite, isn't it? So yeah. there's a little, um, now, which one's red and black? The red one is, and the white, and that goes like that, doesn't it? So right. we've got a little red arrow, we haven't got priority. Yeah. And that's an order, isn't it? Yeah. That is an order. Yeah. If there Absolutely. are oncoming cars, you must give way. Yeah. It's orders, you've got to do it. Mm -hmm. So um, so we, we won't actually see any of those today. Um, but I tell you, if I was planning a route, so I'd have some signs with, triangles and yeah. all that you know but mm. just for the scope of today's lesson in this house and state we might go and find some of them later <laughs> near, where, near where i live on nr7 it's really good because you've got you get this the sign there road narrows and then after it you've got the the rounds and if you come the other way it's the opposite so it's really good linking that up is good with warning there's, signs and priorities there's yeah. possibly some of those on the bridge just up past macro on that windy bit of road, I think there's some priorities. So there's lots of warning signs, isn't there? As you yeah, road narrows both it, sides so. for that bridge. Yeah, right. Yeah, but not no priority. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah. Well, you know, apart from yeah. no one's got priority. No, of course. That's what that sign's sort of telling you. So that, that I kind of went on a bit there. There you go. That was my short briefing. Not because then <laughs> I, I well, I'd yeah, wanted to get into some signs with you because yeah. again, for you as a teacher, this is all good content. Yes. Yeah. You might not deliver all that in one go, but you'll mm. deliver it right. And you might see them say, oh, what's that sign mean? Mm. Yeah. So, oh, I don't know. End of dual carriageway. Wrong. No, that's right now as both sides. Mm. They look similar, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's a yeah. commonly yeah. incorrectly answered question in um, theory tests because they yeah. look so right. similar, don't they? End of dual they carriageway. Do, yeah. Road yeah. now as both sides. Yeah could be a thing so in in that one i'd say so i just structured it around mspsl included a bit of looking out yeah looking well ahead Over under three yeah mm -hmm. looking for pedestrians might run out not speeding up talk about signaling so the checklist the mspsl kind of white goes takes you through yeah. the checklist you think well what do i need to talk about signals and i forgot to mention oncoming white flash but that's okay i just Backtrack to it. So yeah. it's a little bit muddled. Could have been bad, could have included it there, so it's nicely structured, but hey ho, I forgot, but it's okay. I come back yeah. and mop up anything I missed at the end, that little bit. Right. 
So, so yeah, so a lot of that you've covered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, MSPSL will just yeah. give it a logical little flow, doesn't it? Definitely. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. Good. So, should we go into practice mode? Yeah, I'm going to put this out of way. Oh, excuse me. So before we go into practice mode, you'd need to agree with your pupil, what's the plan? Yeah. What is the plan? So what would be your plan here? How would you deliver this whilst okay. teaching me, managing risk? Sure. What, what sort of consideration would you put in place? I'd say we can do this one of two ways maybe on the, the first or the first one or two attempts that i can give you more of a talk through a bit of an instructional commentary and then once your confidence grows i'll start to back off with my intervention as far as uh, talking about intervention if once we've done the first one or two attempts if I think perhaps you're not quite reading the situation correctly and I need to intervene, the, f the first way that I'll intervene will be verbally, slow down a little bit, ease off the gas a bit, stop. Yeah. And then if I need to step up the, the intervention, I may well help you on the brake or, or help you on the steering. Magic. Yeah. So that it's like that escalation. Yeah. So if you're talking me through... No, it should be in control, shouldn't it? Because you yeah. are telling me to stop, wait, wait here, stop, like, yeah. do all that. Um, so you'll be talking me through, and then, yeah, so you're right. So you're, you've agreed to mm -hmm. help me. Love yeah. that. What you wouldn't presumably need to do on, on this situation is go into as much detail as what's happening with the foot pedals, would you? Because you've already said the individual can drive. Yeah, I can drive. Yeah. It's the decision. That, that'd be over instruction, wouldn't it? Wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. would be like mm. of course yeah so I, I might well I do I'm not sure because I will get stuck yeah. and have to reverse if I was left to me because I'm like oh not too late I mean yeah mm, of course yeah. and it's awkward isn't it and potentially the worst thing that you ever want to happen is that the learner gets scared or it knocks their confidence that would be bad bad situation yeah. So, um. They almost come up on that a bit too. They did, they got wedged didn't in they? that to come out yeah. tight angle. So we'd be holding them back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, often, I mean, what I didn't say in my briefing, but I'd say for the talk through, is like a, a hold back position. Yeah. So if we do wait, we'd sit back in a hold back yeah. position, mm -hmm. which is two or three car lengths back mm -hmm. position just left of centre as if we were planning to turn right so we're on our, on our side of the road but we're just positions so it looks so we can see so I didn't I should actually I should have mentioned that in my briefing to, that, to draw it that whole back position there yeah, you go right. oh. <laughs> <laughs> bad 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 yeah, that's good that makes sense so, um, so a hold back position yeah rolling stop so let's not be in a yeah. rush to get up there and stop mm. let's hold it back yeah like not what that yeah so now he's a bit tight the van yeah I'd he bowed through there back. didn't he and all of a sudden he thought i've got nowhere to go yeah so um so that's why we're trying to do it. we're trying we're get you get me to do it like you would do it okay so you're basically making the calling the shots here yeah how it's gonna happen. okay good and you want it to replicate mm -hmm. how you would drive this road not what the van just did or the, yeah. the learner before and got stuck yeah. wedged in a mm -hmm. place to buy yeah. car if i start weaving out yeah so i might come out around park cars and in for no reason and out yeah. again and i'm like oh no we don't want to do that yeah mm -hmm. we don't want to do that and seeing where we have has been quite a good illustration of the lesson look yeah Definitely, you it's know, all going so on, isn't it? There's a car well, that pulled watching. in, there's a car coming out of junction. What, what's going to happen? So yeah, so should we give it a little go? Yes, definitely. Okay. Right. Whilst, we, whilst we've been sitting here, you've seen one or two situations where some people have perhaps come in a little bit too quickly and it's not been clear to proceed. 
what we want to do in this situation, if we deal with this one first, we've already said we're going to deal with it as one hazard, is once we've moved off, we'll get up towards that first purple vehicle. Yeah. We'll ease off the gas and we'll have, have I spoken to you about a rolling stop? Do you understand what I mean by that? I, yeah, we've done it like at Matisse Junction. Yeah. Brilliant. So and we'll do a, a rolling stop. Not what we don't, we don't want to be right on top, too close to that purple X-Trail vehicle. No. Because as we just saw, that learner had to brake quite sharply and then you know, they, they were, struggled to get out, didn't they? They, they really steered quite a lot, didn't they? If we've got enough distance behind that purple vehicle, as we've got a rolling stop, we can have a good look before we then commit. If we're happy that where that white car is, there over on the right, we know there's a junction, you just see the car go down there. Mm -hmm. We need to be happy that nothing's gonna pull out of there. And we need to be happy of oncoming traffic around that corner before we proceed. Okay. So that's the plan. Got it. Are you happy to have a go? Yes. Yeah. Brilliant. So, when you're ready, then do your do your thing, do your home routine, etc. And yeah, and brilliant. Yeah. Tuned in, but fantastic to see it. So, just ease off the gas now and get centre left of the road, and then this rolling starts really good. We can pretty much see it's clear. So now move out. Make sure you're checking your right mirror, that's really important because you're changing lanes there. Now hold this position in the centre of the road I'll and just ahead. ease off the gas. Just ease off the gas, that's it, ease off the gas. And then carry on and assume the correct position in the lane. Don't speed up too much until your limit point opens up. That's it, and just pull up here on the left where it's safe to do so. All right. And we'll just discuss what we did there if that's okay. If we just pull up just past where this wall is, so we're not right in front of this drop curb where the drive is, if that's all right. Remember, safe, convenient, and legal yeah. place. Can you remember that? I'm sure yeah, we mentioned that. So. Right along here. I guess the only, yeah, if you pull up here, might, yeah, I suppose the, we've maybe created a bit of a narrow point there, but I'm sure we'll come back to that in a minute. Still in roll, if it is safe to be here. I think if we're brief. Yeah, okay. Briefly, overall it was very good. I would certainly, oh, what would you score it out of 10? What would you give yourself? I don't know. Um, it seems all right. I think overall, uh, what would you say? Not eight, nine? Uh, eight, yeah. I don't know. I think I'll give you a seven. And let me explain oh. why, because I'm really keen for the next one we do to be a 10, because I know you're striving to be the best you can be. I think, what was, what was really key is when you moved out to centre left, you changed your road position, you was looking over here. Oh yeah, I didn't check my mirror. Yeah. And potentially if Bob or Tom or Sarah, whoever it is, was coming down there on the motorbike, yeah. you would have caused them to seriously have to brake or they might have even hit you. Yeah. So that's enough for me just to pull that score down to a six or a seven. So. Okay. Other, else or... Otherwise, the rolling stop was was really good. Just be aware there was a little bit of unsureness in terms of your position going past the vehicles. Try and hold about a, a meter's width, a door's width. How oh, didn't I do that? I think there were times it was a meter. There were times you were just getting a little bit closer. So, and. Right. Yeah, What's, I know. At the end, I felt I cut in really close. What could have happened? What What could have gone wrong? But I was worried if the car come round, I'd be out on yeah. the side, so I just thought I'd move in. Yeah, I think that if if a car had have come round and they they hadn't of seen us and they've kept towards us, we would have had to stop, wouldn't we? Because we yeah. neither car would want to hit each other. But all the time, it's clear and you're at a safe speed to be able to stop in the distance you can see to be clear, that's really key, then you're okay proceeding, keeping that distance from the parked vehicles. So I didn't need to come in? No. Okay. However, if, if the road was getting narrower, yeah. and you did have to move towards the vehicle, what would you want to be doing with the vehicle, ultimately? Slowing down? Yeah. So the, the tyre it is, you need to 
be slowing down, don't you? Okay. Just to ensure yours and everyone else's safety. Okay, yeah. So, is that good? In terms of you telling me what I should be saying in the briefing, do we need to move or are we all right for you? No, I mean, yeah, come opinion, out yeah, yeah, I, guess well, yeah. I just turned yeah. off because yeah. just while we are sitting there, just make one well, turn Because remember, remember yeah. you'll, um, you'll get picked up on that. Yeah. But yeah, just, just interesting. Because I went around the bend and I did cut in, <laughs> cut in close to that car and yeah, no mirrors. So the two faults, yeah, identified. Okay. So I, what I'm just going to offer now is just something. Well, a little cloth. Just to analyse this fault yeah. and what you can do is you can draw the bend just quickly. So I've got a bend like that, haven't we? Mm -hmm. With a, just, yeah, draw the bend first, junction on it, park cars yeah. around here and there. Pretty much, yeah. Yep, perfect. Mm -hmm. So I've what I what I, I would just analyse it and say what you did. Say so, okay, how did you come around there? Yeah, mirrors. Yeah, you dealt with that. Why the consequences? Mm -hmm. And then I've come around there, and then I've cut in. And I'd say, why did you do that? Oh, I was worried about someone coming around there. Okay, well, let's just see it from the other point of view. If they're coming around here, yeah. Can they see you if you tuck it in here? No. Where no. would they see you? Probably see me out there, wouldn't yeah. they? Mm. So yeah, so the, as you come in, you kind of hit mm. behind yeah. the parking cars. Keep it out, keep your position, normal your position in the centre of your lane, and then they'll see that corner of the car. Yeah. And then if they see that, what would they do? Oh, they'd let me out. Yeah. yeah. So then they could hold back here. Whereas if you hide in there, they're probably going to commit in. Then it's like, ugh. You're stuck. Yeah. They saw you late, you saw them mm, late, yeah. and it's all a bit awkward now. So if we just, well, next time we do that, we just may hold our position there, but at a speed we could stop at, within the distance yeah. things we could do. So if they do keep going, we could stop. And um, and also, just bear in mind that there's this little area that they might use that just to use it mm, to pass. Yeah. So you've got the little the junction there. Mm. As long as no one's in it, that might provide a passing place yeah. mm -hmm. for them to come round on the left. Right. Might. Mm. You see it up there, isn't it? Could do. So then then now the pupil fully understands yeah. that all oh, right, yeah, it might sound counterintuitive to hold out our position to go wide. Well, let's, we're just we're not we're just not cutting in. And mm. the other thing is, if one of these doors opens, or kid run out of there, mm. we we've got a problem there. So we've had two you problems. potentially coming over here quickly, quicker, yeah. and yeah, all hell's breaking loose. So now the people can think, all oh, right, I see. Yeah. So it sounds a bit weird me being on the wrong side of the road, but I've been put there by the parked cars, and I just don't want to tuck in. Yeah. Um. No, that, I, that's not a good mm. enough reason. Because it's actually not helping the oncoming car, so I'm mm. hiding, or they can't yeah. see me. So I'd be like, "All oh, right, okay." And there's always that junction. That makes it nice and clear, isn't it? Points. Yeah. So you might just want to go visual and to analyse a fault. Yeah. Basically, yeah, to good. get your point across and just, mm. and they'd be like, "All oh, right, okay, makes sense. That makes sense." So then, because we're going to stay on this route, next time I do that, you can, yeah. wait, come on, keep out, keep there, keep there. Well, like I will, and they'll be like, all right, yeah, no, I see what you mean then. Yes. Yeah. So um, there you go. Let's hold that little thing. thing. So I'll go up and see that. Good job you did move us, isn't it? Sorry. She can oh. come back. Oh, yes, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's a typical, off, that. Yeah, it did, yeah. So, that, yeah. Did, yeah. so you're right yeah. to do that, that weren't you? Good. Yeah, Hang fair off. enough, yeah. There's enough room That's there for good. a bus to yeah, come good. through. Is there, yeah, good. Okie doke, fair enough. So, so well, I guess the next part now is we'd then do this next hazard, which is potentially even longer. There might be one passing space in front of this silver vehicle. Yeah. So I really need to be looking well ahead, hence the briefing, like yeah. well ahead for your mm. exit. Like we're going into a tunnel here. We've got park cars on the left, park cars on the mm. right. I don't know if there's passing places in there. I just can't see. Yeah. Um, 
So I need to be thinking I've got to get to the exit of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if I think once I'm committed, cars coming in should let me out. Yeah. If they don't, there is enough room to pass, but if there's less space, less speed space. scenario. Speed, so that will come in. Yeah. So then I won't be able to leave a door mm -hmm. with. But now we've, we don't want to stop and hold right. up the traffic. We're mm -hmm. just going to go past at a walking pace. So if a door open, I can just stop. Yeah. So this is, yeah. every part of this route presents different challenges. Yeah. Like that was a challenge, now we've got this challenge. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And okay. so you're really mm -hmm. good to pull me in here just to like get on top of that. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Rather than, mm. if you'd gone around the block, we can, you could have now like four things that we're talking about. Yes, and right. it's like, oh, what, what, Ben was that? When, oh, right, where, oh, where, what, where, back yeah, there, right. Oh, right. Yeah. So you do need to sort Keeping of see it, clear, it, see yeah. it, say it's sorted. Think, oh, do you know what? Got something to talk about. You keep it brief because you don't want to. Obviously, I know we're we've, we're longer because we're explaining things. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, as long as you just get that short to point and get them going again. Yeah, you know, two minutes, three minutes, on we go. Yeah, because right. they do need they need mm. to understand what's just yeah. happened and why they what they should have done differently. Yeah. So yeah, so should we do the next bit? We're going to go to the end. We're going to be turning left. Okay, fantastic, brilliant. Okay, so on this next piece here, then. Potentially there's five or six cars, isn't there? It's hard to see if there's a pull-in space. There might be one just past this silver car here. But as we've already discussed, once uh, you'll have that, you'll get positioned quite quickly out to, so as you can see what's coming down there. Yeah. We'll keep the speed nice and slow up to the silver car. When you do commit and you do pull out, what are you going to do differently what well, you didn't mirrors. check the mirrors for that yeah. motorcyclist or whatever that's right yeah. perfectly and then just before we do this just before we commit to this what you may have to do or if you're halfway through remember we said it's like tunnel if you're halfway through it and you meet a vehicle or a bus coming the other way yeah there is just about enough space to pass but, okay. But if there's less space, what are we going to reduce? Speed. Less space, less speed. Got Brilliant. It. Okay, yeah. So when you're ready... So I might not be able to leave the door whip thing. You might not, another... but the thing is... I'll be slower. You'll be slower. So if a door does open or a young kitty walks out in the road or a dog is off the lead or something, you'll just be able to stop. stop. Oh, right, yeah. Nice and yeah. safe. Less space, less speed. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Pretty so nice. remember the MSPSL routine, so mirrors, uh, yeah, etc. You're still helping me though. Isn't Definitely, you? yeah. If you want me to, yeah. Yeah, but, well, yeah, yeah. it's only days, only done yeah, one. Yeah, sure, no problem, okay. Good, so when you're ready, there is a bus coming. Should we just wait for that? Is the bus coming? He's going to go the other way. Oh, it's turned off, sorry, okay. So that when you're ready then, okay. So you check your mirror, that's good, okay. And just hold the centre of the lane. Don't here. go in there. You don't need to because there's oh. nothing coming. Oh, okay. So just ease off the gas a little bit. Keep it nice and slow through here. That's good. Nice and slow. And then at the end of the road, we're going to turn left. That's really good. So that's that's it. So remember your your routine here. That's good. Pop your signal back on and. Just be sure this car's turning right. Although this signal in. Just be absolutely certain. That's left, good. In it, they can't. I know what you mean. Though. Beg your pardon. Sorry, left. Yeah. <laughs> Just testing. Good. And then right now down here, you can see that there's a bit of a pinch point here. So mm, yeah, park cars both sides. Follow the same routine. You you did that last one absolutely perfectly. That was really good. So just keep... So if someone was coming, would I, where would I wait? Here? You would, you could just tuck in here. But oh, we're all clear at the moment. Yeah. Well, this is a lot different to the routes we've been on before, and there's a lot lot of parked cars. You have to be quite alert, don't you? Yeah, this is definitely a step okay. up. That's good. So make sure that you're scanning all the way down the road and then back up again as you're driving down. Really good. Get, Move your position now, make sure you check your right mirror. Oh. Move that position, that's good. Okay, fantastic. Is there a turn at the end here? Sorry, I'm not familiar Gonna with the area. Left. Don't worry, Russell, I'm giving you directions. <laughs> left at the end, then you can repeat it back to me. At the end of the road, if you, 
We're going to turn left. That's good. Did I turn over else? So watch me. Why don't you deliver the direction? Yeah. Right, good. Thank watch you. me. Yeah. I know you're interested. So we're going. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Now, here we're potentially going to be on a little bit of an awkward position. There's nothing mm, behind no, us, is there? Because there's quite a sharp corner. So we'll just. Oh, I'm glad I didn't mean that box on this bank. Wow. We'll just ease off the speed here. Okay, be next next left, left. okay when we get around the corner next left. Around the corner, we'll be taking the next left. That's it now, just ease off here. That's so you can see it's clear. Brilliant. So you can just move out. out. Yeah, that's good. And next then we're taking this next left. Yeah, I've got that's a car behind nice. you. So, centre left mirror signal. Good. Yeah, I've got a car behind you. So left of the roundabout. At the roundabout, we're going to be turning left. Can I check my mirrors? So you got watch me. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the almost counterintuitive because as a driver, you're so used to watching what's going on on the road, but now it's the whole. Is it okay? So just hold the centre of your lane. Brilliant. Okay. And then just pull up on the left here, just where that Opposite fence is. Oh, oh yeah. Just where the fence is, a wee bit too close to junction there, is all right. I don't think it's too bad, is it? Yeah, all okay. right. Good. 10 meters clear. Yeah. Okay, good. What I really needed to focus on, because we're going to go around it again, I think, I really wanted to focus on the use of your mirrors. They're, they're, there's still the odd occasion where the vehicle's changing direction to go past the parked cars and you're not checking centre right mirror every mm. time. What, what's the what could happen though? What's what's the worst that could happen? Tom. Tom. Smack it smacking in the side of your car, yeah. yeah. Which is not good for your insurance and not maybe, for me, <laughs> maybe not good for Tom either. Tom's not and his too happy. Shiny new bike. So just yeah. really be aware of that because it's so important. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Good. Okay. So we've come out of Ralph's yeah. set. Mm -hmm. So Carl says once around the block, you kind of see what the route, yeah. the, the challenge of this subject is. And you can see now why, yeah. This, we're not going to get clearance following distance no. tires and tarmac in this. It's, no. The route would have to change for that. So it's kind of like because mm. we we're, we're looking at two topics really. Yeah. We've started with meeting and we'd go on to the other stuff. But before we do, before we do, um, just with the full talk through, mm -hmm. can I just show you what that would what that Definitely. wants to yeah. sound like. Fantastic. Because it is, it's, it's a bit prompted. So you're, yeah. it's a, well, hopefully you can compare and think. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. Because yeah. there's bits just missing, like with mirrors. I shouldn't be allowed to get out there no. without my mirrors. So this is, if I was given a full talk, talk through on this block to deal with meeting, yeah. Any meeting situation, it's on, and there's a lot, as you've just seen, yeah, it's a lot. Definitely. So, you know, you've just seen that for the first time, so it's hard to sort of plan, mm, know yeah. what to say. So, just because we're getting near the end of our time, I just put that in, then you can think, right, okay, that give you something to go practice. Yeah, that'd be good. So, rather than swapping mm. over, I just talk to myself as if yeah. I was mm -hmm. instructing me. Yeah, good. Right. Okay, definitely. A bit weird talking to yeah. myself, but hey. That's okay, that'd be good. So, I would say, okay, right, you know, we're going to get going. I want to talk you through the meeting situations. I leave Howard. I leave you to the junctions. You're good at junctions, but if I say wait, wait, there's a reason I went to wait. Um, and yeah, you know, so I'll be making the decisions uh, as to whether we go or not. You know, I'll mm. be telling you to wait or stop. Yeah, if you don't, breaks all that. Lot. Okay. So um, yeah. So when you're ready, I'd like you to move off just like you did. Use your pump routine. Good. That's it. So just make sure on this first red car you leave enough clearance. That's it. So now we've got a meeting situation. So centre mirror, right mirror, and round you go. You leave plenty of clearance going around these parked cars. And we just stay out. We don't want to weave in and out of the parked cars because people behind might think you're going to park. 
So stay out here, don't go back into the gap, okay? If you see an oncoming car like that BMW, we'd go into the hold back position. Let's imagine he did. So let's come back, hold back position is there. So just left of center, three car lengths back, mirror, mirror, let him through and out we go. That was an imaginary car, yeah, just to yeah. show you that. So hold your position, don't move in, just stay in your normal drive position. If you saw a car come in, they should let you out. If they don't, we'll just come to a and wait, we're sort of wait for them. So more parked cars, centre mirror, right mirror. If it's clear, we'll come out. There we go. So now we've got a meeting situation. So we're just going to lift off the gas. He's popped the signal on and he's going to put it in front of you. Car behind's gone into the gap, into a park. So they're not behind you anymore. Mm. Lovely. So now this is less space, less speed. So we're going nice and slow through here through a tunnel of parked cars, our exit's clear. We're going to be turning left, so good mirrors. And before you emerge on this junction, I just want you to pause, just come to a stop before the giveaway lines. So before we go into New Road, look at the situation. We've got parked cars on both sides. So if a car was coming towards you, he would have priority. Oh, I'm not sure. Well, they would, because you're behind the giveaway lines. So if you can see anything, we'd wait here. Otherwise, we're going to peep and creep. Got a cyclist behind you. Be aware of that. So creep out. If you see a car coming towards you, you're going to wait. Now it's clear. Okay, so mirror, mirror, centre right. Out you go. Lovely. Now eyes on full beams down to the end of the road. So lots more meeting situations and oncoming cars with a pedestrian near side. So we're going to check centre mirror, left mirror, and just move back to the left. So this is less space, less speed. We don't need to stop there because we don't want to stop traffic. But there's Everyone's going slower because we haven't got that room. So looking to the end of the road, we've got more parked cars. We're going to check centre mirror, right mirror. And is it safe to proceed around these parked cars? Yes. So mirror, mirror again. Out you go. Leave clearance on the parked cars. Very good. We've got pedestrians on the near side. And at the end of the road, we're going to be turning left. And you've got a vehicle coming up quite fast behind you. Had a pigeon in the road. So mirror, mirror. So now that car's brake really sharply and they're swearing now. Not because you're going too slow, just because they're impatient. So just come around there to the left. And now we've got another mean situation. Look both ways. Creep out if it's safe. And just wait here, wait. So we'll let him through, mirror check and round we go. And we want to leave clearance on these parked cars. And now this parked car behind looking very aggressive, yes, look at that. Absolutely. So now yeah. what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on the left and let her go past. So just tuck it in behind this silver car and let her go. She obviously wants to get past and we're just gonna leave it there. So now we can get rid of her. Yeah. Yeah, problem solved. So now we can carry on with our lesson. We don't need that, do we? So I'm um, giving it all that. She, was she come down at about 30 mile an hour and a 20 with, with kids coming yeah, home from yeah. school on both sides. And we were doing what, 15? Yeah. Which was about the right speed for that road. So, uh, so we don't need to feel pressure and be forced up the road by an aggressive yeah. driver. So we can just diffuse the situation yeah. and tuck it in, yeah. carry on with our little day. So let's check those mirrors. We're gonna go around the park cars. Remember to leave that clearance in case the door opens. And we're gonna take the next left. So as we go left, we could be into a meeting situation, can't we? So mirrors, that's it. Look through the, into the road and there is a meeting situation. So slow right down. If an oncoming car is coming, we would wait here. This is where we would have waited if a car was coming. So your speed there was spot on. We, that's the speed we could have stopped within the distance seen to be clear. So we're nice and slow in there. Going to be turning left at the roundabout. So good mirrors. I'll let you deal with the roundabout. But now look into your exit and look, more parked cars. So we might have to give way to oncoming traffic. So it's clear, so we can proceed. Good mirrors in the new road. So we've got parked cars on both sides. So we might, we're on a bus route, so we might meet a bus. So we'd have to think about where would we wait if that was happening. So now we have got cars coming towards and parked cars on the near side. So just these off, centre mirror, left mirror, into the gap. This is your rolling stop, so we can just time it. They pass, mirror, mirror, and out. So we've just sort of, without having to stop there, we've just let the situation sort itself out without racing it. Yeah. So I'll get up to pull up now. 
my old printer in the back creaking away. That's not going to be good for the old sound, is it? <laughs> creaking about. So anyway, so um, so that yeah, so that's yeah. with the talk through, and it's mm. quite handy having that driver behind because yeah, do you need that on your lesson with an Definitely anxious, not. nervous pupil? Definitely not. No, it's the and last thing you, you need. You obviously need to remove that, remove the situation yeah. as quick as you can. Risk reduction in it. We've just yeah. got rid of the risk. Mm. Yeah. Just gone. We've not yeah. even got stressed about it. It's like, yeah. you know, it's gone now. Yeah. Carry on with our day. She's her own problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 let's hope she don't. Yeah, you know, because she come down there. Quick. She was flying. I, I saw her. Yeah. And mm -hmm. proper aggressive when she had yeah. to brake. Break, yeah. Come right to our bump and brake yeah. up, doing it that. Yeah. It's like, what are we doing wrong? <laughs> We're yeah, doing nothing wrong. Yeah. Got me our plates on. I'm yeah. on a lesson. Ooh, it's all I need, isn't it? As um. Yeah as a learner driver, trying to deal with this with the kiddies coming home. And, and I've just had a lesson on that we've got to be able to stop and the little kiddies running about and, you know, they could step out and now I've got feelings. One grumpy woman. <laughs> so, yeah, so that, that sort of just shows yeah. you some of the attitude in, in drivers, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely does. Which, you know, yeah. you, well, you know. Mm -hmm. What can you say? <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot on camera, anyway. <laughs> what can you say? Yeah. So, yeah, so, um, yeah. But hopefully that was just helpful. Very and helpful. It was really good. And I'll have a look look back at that. And, and the reason I was saying about mirrors, it. like good mirrors, is because I'd be saying that because if they hadn't been checking mirrors, yeah, which I wasn't, I'd be reinforcing good behaviour. Yes, but course. I'd be having to look at them. Yeah. It's like saying, I've, I'm looking at you. Yeah, so sure. If, yeah, but I wouldn't just say good mirrors for the sake of it. If there had been an issue and we fixed it, I'd be just encouraging, yeah. saying, "Oh yeah, good, mm. good mirrors. You did that on your own, like nice one, without yeah. my help." Um, but of course, we can only say that if we see it. Yeah, if we don't see it. Sure. Do we? Yeah. So, so I'll, so I'll, I'll head back towards Macro. Yeah. And okay. maybe on the way back, we'd have some opportunities for. The, the way back to macro would present opportunities yeah. for clearance. Following okay. distance. Yeah, good. Absolutely. Tires and tire back. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, following distance, like that, like, uh, like, like that. Grumpy lady. <laughs> so, what we'll do this time, yeah. if, could you, are you happy to direct me back from here? Or are you just like, I ain't got a clue? Where no, are you? no, I haven't much of an idea. I have right, to I'll, say. I'll get you out of the estate. Yeah. I'm not expecting you to know around here because yeah. it's yet, a bit of a maze. <laughs> And um, if I could, if I could just continue what mm. I was doing, because yeah, it's interesting because the route I've picked here is with the old style part three test when the examiner role play. Mm. This was one of the topics right. meeting, and he, this is where he would drive. He'd do yeah. that block, right. and then he'd come down there and turn right, and he would always pick the route that would oppose the bus. So he was literally praying. They'd be just bus, like, come yeah. on bus, come on bus. Yeah. You're round the next corner, you're going to be It's there. really mean, but I think, yeah. And there, and there we, so we just missed it. If yeah. we'd gone into that road, um, it would have been yeah. tricky. So you, you could sort of tell that the level, he wasn't making it easy for no. us at all, which is not supposed to be. Um, and so to prevent, prevention is better than the cure, as they yeah. so often say, is we would yeah. want to be on top of our people. So if I could just show you the next couple of streets yes, good. Um, of the sort of things we'd be saying. Sure. So that'd be right. So we've just done that block, good, well done. Gonna move, it's gonna get a bit harder now, yeah. I'd say to my people. So again, we're gonna move off, we're gonna be dealing with a meeting situation, but then turning right where the bus just come out. So there could be another bus. Mm. Um, it's on a bend, so don't cut the corner. Make sure you use your point of turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prevention. How are you going to judge that? Oh, yeah, I know you used my reference point. Mm -hmm. Good, and that's going to be so important, because if you cut the corner, will you be able to see around that bend? No. So what's the danger? Someone could come around quick. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So your point of turn, make like sure that, you can yeah. see yeah. around the bend before mm -hmm. you turn into that road, and then that would be the safe thing to do. Because yeah. we don't want to nip in in front of someone and cause an accident. Mm -hmm. No. Because that's what he'd do. He'd go like, get across there. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah. 
That's what you learn as well. Right, so yeah, cool. So when you're ready, move up. Okay. So we're going to check those mirrors again. Black car on coming, so we're going to wait here in the whole back position. There you go, perfect. That's much better position than ones we've observed earlier with cars getting close. Mirrors, there we go. So once we're out, we're committed, but just be prepared to stop. If a car comes around that corner, we will just come to a gradual stop there. And now there's the gap, less space, less speed. So they've just come around too fast. They couldn't stop within the distance, seems to be clear. And now they've had to reverse to let us out. We'll still say thank you. And we're going to turn right nice ladies, so. We're up to the point of turn, so we can see around that corner before turning. So look in, make sure a bus ain't coming out. So if a bus was coming out there, yeah, you wouldn't fit. No. So we might choose by early observations to let the bus out before we commit into this narrow road. So we've got a bus stop on the offside, no one waiting. We so we can anticipate that the bus has just been. And now just pull up on the left just for seconds because we need to talk about the next bit. And also we need to talk about what just happened back there. So we were on the wrong side of the road. We'd committed around parked cars and then that car come around mm -hmm. really fast. Yeah. So can you see how having a slower speed was a good mm -hmm. thing? Definitely. Because they were going too fast. Mm -hmm. So we thought about their stopping distance. Yeah. So we could stop well within our distance. She yeah. couldn't have stopped, but we've factored that. Yeah. And so there was enough room. She realised her mistake and she's reversed mm -hmm. back. But yeah. we still said being courteous and said thank you. Um, so that's that. And now we're going to continue ahead and the road will follow around to the right. So we've got parked cars. So again, we're going to be on a right bend, parked cars on. So how are we going to deal with cars meeting on this one? And it'd be like, so we have a Q&A. Mm -hmm. So well, yeah, there's a gap. So yeah, we could use the big gap, can we? If there wasn't a gap there, we'd hang back behind the first car. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. all discussed. And just again, we've got kids coming home from school. So we'd be aware of that. Yep. Move off when you're ready. Good. So on approach, we're checking centre mirror, right mirror to check it's safe. We're looking around the, the bend and if we saw someone coming, we would wait here. If it's clear, we're gonna go around. So mirrors again, now we go. And if we saw someone now, we'd tuck it into that gap. So we're always thinking about our next step. So we're planning well ahead. So lots of parked cars, not many spaces. So if a car come around that corner or junction now, we could tuck it in there as an option, but now there's no more passing places. So we would see what they do and they should let us out. Yeah, gonna be turning left. So the hedge blocks our view around that corner so we've just, just come to a pause here, nothing behind. Look at the windows, you could see reflections potentially of vehicles coming towards you, especially mm. like a bus over the hedge. So we can use that extra information to sort mm. of get our heads into that road. But our approach speed would be slow here. There could be parked cars. So we're always at this sort of speed so we could stop. And there, there's your hazard, someone reversed into a driveway. So we're always at a speed we can stop or there could have been someone on our side of the road. And that, so this this is was the bus route, you could meet the bus there. Yeah, right. And all that sort of information of reflection in mirrors and things would all be really good content. And they'd like it. Yeah, right. Yes. And I did really, a bit of an odd place to stop, but I'd only do that if I had no one behind. Just literally, just to say, look, just pause for a minute, have a look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right, now go round the corner. Right. Just, it's a, like a, like a comma yeah and it's just like wait well, on a minute just draw breath have a look at that oh yeah good carry on right so you can yeah. do that but yeah. not if someone's you had the old volvo woman behind bad idea yeah she'd be like really mad wouldn't you so now we'd be in the territory of following distance which obviously i don't you know it depends if someone's going slow if we go left we can go back the country roads. Yeah, sure. And, um, you know, I bet... Green line north thing you mean, yeah. yeah. I bet there's nothing to get close to. Mm -hmm. But did you want to sort of talk about following distance as we drive towards it? I mean, I try and get too close to cars as I can. Yeah, so of course, you can yeah. Correct it. But if there isn't an opportunity, you could still talk about 
the yeah. two second rule, how to calculate it. Sure, yeah. If we've got a car in the distance. Okay, now we're on to the clearance section of the lesson. And with the road conditions as good as they are, nice and dry, quite bright, we'll be looking at a two second rule in terms of the oh, distance. Yeah. I don't want to ask you too many questions whilst you're driving, so I'm just going to talk about how you measure that two second rule. Okay. One of the best ways is to use some kind of marker, so like a lamppost or a, a speed sign. Okay, yeah. And as soon as the vehicle in front of you goes past that marker, yeah. You can either count two seconds, or what's even more effective is to say the rhyme, really easy to remember, only a fool breaks the two second rule. Okay. If, if you go past the marker before you finish that rhyme, you're too close, you need to ease off the gas. Oh, I get it, yeah, okay, yeah. If you go past the marker long after you finish the line, the, the, the rhyme potentially, yeah, you, you, your distance, you can close your distance up a little bit more. Okay, so two but second gap, yeah? That's it, yeah, absolutely. Do you know where we're going? We are going Green Lane North, right. aren't we? Next, be next right. Next right, sorry, I'm just getting my bearings to where I am. Sorry, yeah, so, yeah, we'll take next. Okay, now if the road was wet, yeah, what what would that mean to our following distance? Can you remember? Would you increase that? You would increase it. Yeah. Do you know roughly how much? Don't worry if you don't. Three seconds. It's good to increase it to about four seconds. Oh, okay. Because obviously, with the with the difference in road conditions. It's going to take longer to stop, isn't it, in the, in, in the wet weather? Thinking about even even worse weather conditions. So if it's snowy or icy, in terms of how many times you'd increase that distance, what do you think that'd be? Can you remember? Have you lots. read about that? No. It is lots. It's ten times or more, really. Oh, right. And what you need to think about when you're driving in those icy conditions and you do have to use your brake is you need to think that you've got a raw egg underneath your brake pedal. And what I mean by that is if you applied your brake too hard, you'd break the egg or what you what <laughs> the effect it would have on the vehicle is you'd skid out of control. Oh, okay. So, so you, just you see to, the, yeah. So, just so imagine really I had a brake, an egg under the brake pedal, I'd just brake so gently, I would You wouldn't break the egg. No, I see, yeah. I and get it. from a vehicle control point of view, it means you wouldn't skid. I get it, yeah. That's just really, really good. And if you're in, if you're in really slow moving traffic, what would a good, following distance B. Ooh, right. on that one. I don't know. No idea. Two seconds. You'd want to keep a reasonable distance or at least is it two seconds? I'm sure we've just spoken about that and only read about it recently. The lower the speed the greater the distance is it? Well, yeah, I'll roll. Yeah, 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 you can yeah. say um, a mile an hour per meter, a meter for each mile an hour. So oh, 20 miles an hour, that, 20, right. mile, 20 meters or 10 right. miles an hour. No, I heard of that. Yeah, or just keep it simple, just say yeah. that. Still use the two second rule. Yeah, fair enough. Well, that's good. Um, and at least, that's the emphasis, at least two seconds. Yeah. I'm obviously, what I would be conscious of is not asking questions that required too much of a complicated answer while the learner was driving. Anything yeah, that's yeah, just exactly. one word, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, so you say? while I was coming round them bends, you'd probably not want to talk to me. No. But I was doing fine, so it was, yeah. oh, you know, it was just so you could talk to me on the move. Mm, yeah. 
And um, but you're right. Yeah, you wouldn't want to overload them, give no. them lots of new information while they're driving. No, because they got to concentrate on what they're doing. Be a bit unfair if they were like, yeah. someone I was trying to listen to you, of course I messed up with that. Of course I put the car in a ditch. <laughs> I was trying to listen to the last two bloody seconds, like, what's going on? <laughs> so, yeah, so you'd have to be mindful yeah. of that. Okay. So, yeah. cool, yeah, so we can, we can hit, yeah, we can hit end on that and then we'll. Uh... Yeah, fantastic. And then, 